over the last few years, golf technology has come on leaps and bounds. In this video, I'm gonna show you some technology that I use and I trust. I'm also gonna show you some technology of the future. Some of it costing hundreds of thousands of pounds. And on the flip side, some of it is so cheap that it's almost too good to be true. So let's kick things off with my very own Hit Studio. For the Hit channel, by the way, if you've not subscribed, make sure you do. There is new products coming thick and fast I'm gonna be reviewing in that room. Now, in the Hit Studio, I've got some of the best technology that I could ever imagine for testing. Kicking things off with a Zen Putting Green, a green that actually slopes, slants, and moves to mimic all different types of raking putts. I also use Putt View, which is a projector system which can track the trajectory of your golf ball. It also shows you how much the ball is gonna slope on certain breaks. You can play games on it, you can do loads. And then I've got this, my Foresight GT Quad Launch Monitor. This is a camera-based system, there's four cameras here on the front that give incredible accuracy on ball speed, spin rates, launch angles, trajectory, distance, total distance, as well as club data as the club comes into the golf ball. However, it comes with a price tag. This unit alone is 15,000 pounds. Now, if you think that's impressive, check out this state-of-the-art simulator that I visited recently when I went to Ping at Loughborough University. This system is out of this world. Multiple camera systems costing tens of thousands of pounds each. This simulator is really used for R&D purposes, for Ping to make sure they're making the best product possible for you, the golfer. I mean, the cost of that place is in the hundreds of thousands of pounds. Maybe one day the Hit Studio might become that. Maybe it's a bit overkill for what I need. However, it's incredibly impressive. And then you can go from that to this. This is a launch monitor, a personal one. Launch monitors over the last few years have got smaller and smaller and smaller. And where originally they were only really used for people within the golf industry, now they're reaching out to you guys watching. Little launch monitors like this from Garmin that give very good basic data for carry distance, total distance, a little bit of actual ball flight as well. And for the price tag of £480, it's not perfect. It definitely doesn't give exact numbers, but it's not bad. In fact, it's not bad at all. We are flying through the technology so far. However, stay tuned to the end of the video for arguably my favorite piece of technology that every single one of you watching can experience. Now let's talk a little bit about on-course technology. Range finders have become so popular over the last 10 to 15 years. And this is the state of the art rangefinder that I currently use. However, it comes at a cost of nearly 500 pound and it's very, very good. However, got me thinking for 500 pound for a rangefinder, what happens if I can find the cheapest rangefinder? Is that any good? And I found this one on Amazon at 75 pound. It was the cheapest rangefinder available. The case, albeit it comes with one, is not the same quality as the 500 pound rangefinder. The actual device itself is very, very good. It looks very similar. Took it on the golf course and did a little bit of testing with it. And I have to say, bar the magnifying not being quite as strong or as zoomed in with the cheaper model, the accuracy was exactly the same for a fraction of the price. Now let's talk a little bit more about future technology. In this box is VR Golf. This is Oculus headset. And I've been using this for the last probably year or so now. I'm unbelievably impressed and more importantly, excited about the prospects of VR Golf. And if I'm honest, I actually think over the next few years, there might be more golf played in VR world than actual real life. It's so unbelievably realistic and impressive. And in fact, you can even get one of these, which is a, a makeshift golf club, which can actually attach the controller to, and it makes it even more realistic. You can play different golf courses around the world. You can even design your own golf course and play against friends everywhere on 
the planet. I do think VR golf has a very bright future. Might not be for everybody, but it's certainly a way of getting new people into the beautiful game of golf. Now, I'm going from this headset to, to this headset. This is PutView X. Now, full review of these coming out very soon, but this AR technology, augmented reality, actually uses incredible technology which measures in depth the slope of any putting green you're on then tells you how the putt is going to break what speed you need to hit it at and what line you need to start it on it's mind-blowing it really is i think at the moment they're probably a little bit too grand for most people on a normal saturday morning at your golf club but over time as all technologies get better and better and better it gets smaller i can imagine this technology in a pair of sunglasses one day and whereas the other headset vr world are somewhat more affordable at 300 pounds for a headset these put view x are fifteen thousand pounds what people will pay to hold more putts now i want to go back onto on course technology now and gps watches and tracking devices this is actually a gps watch i bought from amazon again while i was on there for a hundred pounds and again i've used gps watches in the past but once again see what was out there that was somewhat affordable and reasonable and as much as the software maybe isn't as glitzy and glam as some other devices and it was a little bit slower the actual GPS on this particular watch, only a hundred pound of Amazon, was deadly accurate. It was. I was very impressed. It gave you front, middle, and back, and it married up exactly at the same distances as the rangefinder. And it has thousands of golf courses already on it. Not perfect, but for a hundred pound, gives you some very basic numbers. And I also wanted to check out technology on a smartphone most of us watching now have access to a smartphone and i actually downloaded a free to use app and i took it to the golf course and again for a free to use app on a device that most of us have in our pocket already the accuracy was brilliant again you could move it around you could zoom into the green you could see front middle and back as you walked around, it would actually track you where you're walking, so it knew exactly your GPS locations to give you the exact yardages to the green, to the flag, whatever you would need. Just again goes to show how technology, many, many years ago, would have cost thousands of pounds to get that GPS technology. Now you've got it at the touch of your fingers for free. Now, as you've seen recently, I've been working and grinding hard on my own golf game, trying to improve my technique. It's all well and good doing that in my hit studio, but often I want to see ball flight. So I am a super proud ambassador for Top Tracer and Top Tracer technology is very beneficial for you guys as golfers. For me to become an ambassador for a brand takes a lot. I only will become an ambassador for products that I trust. And I trust Top Tracer. The fact you can go to a Top Tracer driving range, buy a bucket of golf balls, and utilize the incredibly accurate technology is fantastic. Also, it's real life ball data. When you hit that ball onto the driving range, it'll take things like wind and temperature into account. It'll give you real accurate distances for that particular day. And also, often when you go to practice just at a driving range, no real pressure. You go and practice at a top tracer driving range and play some of the games or utilize the fact you can play the inbuilt golf courses such as St. Andrew's old course. It just makes you think a little bit more, gives you that little bit more pressure that you've got to hit good shots and that develops your skills for when you go out on the golf course. And you can also have a bit of fun on there, like longish drive. There's leaderboards for the day, for the week, for the month, which often I'm trying to get towards the top of. You can do nearest the pin challenges, and also you can do top trace of 30, where you hit 30 shots under a bit of pressure, and at the end, it will give you a handicap for those 30 shots. And even for the kids, like I'll take my kids down to Top Trace and they'll play the Go Fish game and they just love the fact they can collect all these fish by hitting golf balls. So if you've not tried out Top Tracer technology yet, I would definitely recommend you to do so and have a look for my name. See if you can beat my longest drive or nearest the pins. There's a challenge for you. 
We'll see you next time.